Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another video about Character Map. And if you don't know where it is, you just go to your Windows on your Start Program and go down to Windows, go to Accessories, and Character Map. And if you drag it down here, you can put it on your uh, pin it right there. But there's your Character Map. So I did a video last night about it and how to find a code number that I'll just learn. But also I was looking through it today and Gabriola has a bunch of drawn perfect lines that you could use so you could, and you could select a lot of them because it's kind of hard to see what they are and just select a lot of them and, uh, and then you can go to copy and then go over to your screen and hit right click your mouse and hit paste and just click OK. Now it's going to bring them in in paragraph text. So what you could do to do that, let me uh, zoom in here. Whoop. So it brought them up under paragraph text. What you can do is control F8 and it converts them to artistic text. <clears throat> So you've got a lot of lines here, and I didn't pick the one I did, but these are actually two of those that I just put together to make a third object. And I mean, it would take you a long time to get that perfect. And if you wanted to just have some squiggles type lines, and there's a lot you can do with this. Now control K to break them apart. And then you could grab this one right here. Let's just kind of play with it and you can make your own. You could control D and make a duplicate, mirror it the other way, mirror it the other way, and then take that point and have it snap to there. Let's see if we don't have snap to one. Well, we've got snap to object. So what we need to do is take both these. They're still a text. So go to object, convert to curves. Now it's more like an object. So now it should snap to that point. I didn't do a very good job there. But now you have one unit if you control uh, G to group that together. And you could keep going. I mean, you could control D and make a duplicate of that and put this one down here, have intersecting lines. Um, so use that character map. And then when you bring it in, it's a little difficult because it doesn't really have a number like we were talking about last night. Let's uh, erase all these talking about that it's set up and, and had a an alternate keystroke down here. But that was under Arial. So if you want to go to Gabriola or Arial, just type in, start typing in Arial. And then you've got Arial. And then here's that one we were talking about last night. And the keystroke is alternate 0241 to get that Spanish in. Anyway, just kind of play around that. Find some stuff and uh, embellish your drawings, and you can do a lot with this. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.